just as the world spins in its endless dance around the sun. Bringing forth the changing seasons, so too does our journey through life mimic these cycles. Have you ever noticed how the beauty of spring follows the barrenness of winter? Or how the warmth of summer inevitably gives way to the Christmas of autumn? And this eternal cycle is not just a trait of the world around us, but a fundamental aspect of our lives. It's in the grand tapestry of your life, there will be moments that shine bright as summer days, filled with joy, success, and warmth. These are the times when everything seems to fall into place, when your heart is light and your spirit is buoyant. Let's relish these moments, for they are the sweet rewards of your hard work and dedication. But just as the seasons change, so too will the nature of our experiences. There will come times that feel as cold and challenging as the deepest winter. Moments when our resolve is tested and our spirits feel burdened by the trials we face. It is during these times that we must remember, just as spring follows winter, these challenges will pass, giving way to new growth and opportunities. So the question then becomes, how do we weather these inevitable cycles? The key, my friends, lies in preparation and perspective. Just as a farmer plants his seeds in spring to harvest in autumn, we too must sow the seeds of resilience, hope, and learning during our good times to reap the benefits when the going gets tough. Let's pause for a moment and reflect. Think about the season you're in right now. Are you basking in the warmth of summer or finding your way through a winter chill? Whatever your answer, know this. Each season holds its own beauty, lessons, and opportunities for growth. Embrace the season you're in, prepare for the next. And remember, the cycle of life is what brings depth, richness, and meaning to our journey. Now, well, let's turn our attention to a truth that many find hard to embrace. The value of adversity. It's a common notion to view tough times purely as obstacles, towering walls that block our path forward. But what if I told you that these very obstacles are not just barriers, but also bridges? Yes, bridges that lead to personal growth, wisdom, and strength. Imagine for a moment that you're facing a mountain. From its base, it might seem insurmountable, an unfair challenge thrown your way. Yet every step taken up that mountain, every struggle against its steep path, builds your muscles, sharpens your focus, and elevates your spirit. Reaching the summit doesn't just offer a breathtaking view. It symbolizes the transformation that occurred within you during the ascent. It's tough times, much like that mountain, offer us a unique opportunity. The tester metal to refine our character and to emerge not just unscathed, but enhanced, they teach us resilience, the art of navigating through storms with a steadfast heart. They show us the power of perseverance, of pushing forward when every fiber of our being screams to turn back. And perhaps most importantly, they reveal to us the strength of our own spirit, a strength that perhaps we were unaware of until tested by adversity. Can you ever face a challenge that, in hindsight, contributed to your growth? A moment that, while daunting at the time, equipped you with lessons and insights you now hold dear. These experiences underscore the inherent value of adversity. They remind us that it's not the absence of challenges that defines our journey, but our response to them. Let's embrace our challenges, not as mere obstacles, but as opportunities to grow, to learn, and to rise above. As we journey through the seasons of life, preparing mentally and emotionally for its inevitable ups and downs is crucial. Think of it this as you would dress warmly to brave the cold of winter or carry water to stay hydrated in the heat of summer. So too must we equip our minds and hearts for the varied climates of our lives. One powerful strategy is cultivating a mindset of resilience. This means accepting that challenges are a natural part of life. Not anomalies designed to make us suffer. It's about understanding that our ability to bounce back is more powerful than any setback we might face. How do we build this resilience? By embracing challenges as they come, facing them head on, and learning from each experience. Another key strategy is the practice of gratitude. In times of trouble, it's easy to focus solely on what's going wrong. Yet by intentionally acknowledging the good in our lives, no matter how small, we anchor ourselves in a state of appreciation that can weather any storm. This gratitude not only uplifts our spirits, but also broadens our perspective, reminding us of the bigger picture and the transient nature of our troubles. Lastly, never underestimate the power of community. Sharing our struggles, seeking advice, or simply knowing we're not alone can significantly lighten our emotional load. It's about building a support system that stands with us through the seasons, offering warmth in winter and shade in summer. So now, reflect for a moment on these strategies. How might they change the way you approach life's inevitable ups and downs? Imagine moving forward with resilience, gratitude, and a strong sense of community. How would that impact your ability to navigate the changing seasons of life? Remember, it's not about avoiding the storms, but learning how to dance in the rain, 
transitioning from a challenging period into a season of growth. And prosperity is much like emerging from a long, harsh winter into the hopeful bloom of spring. It's a time of renewal, but also one that requires deliberate action and mindset shifts to fully embrace and capitalize on the new opportunities that lie ahead. Firstly, acknowledge the transition. Recognize that you are moving from one phase to another. This acknowledgement is crucial as it prepares your mind and spirit for change. It's akin to opening the windows after a long winter, allowing fresh air to cleanse and invigorate your home. Secondly, reflect on the lessons learned. Every challenging period teaches us something valuable about ourselves, about others, and about life. Take time to understand these lessons. What strengths did you discover about yourself? What weaknesses need attention? This reflection is your soil preparation before planting new seeds. Thirdly, set clear, actionable goals. With the lessons learned in hand, outline what you wish to achieve in this new season. Be specific about what growth and prosperity mean to you, whether it's improving relationships, advancing in your career, or enhancing your personal well-being. These goals are your seeds for the future. Plant them with intention. Embrace a mindset of openness and flexibility. Just as the weather can change unexpectedly, so too can the conditions of our lives. Being open and adaptable ensures that you can navigate these changes without losing sight of your goals. Remember, it's not the strongest species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the ones most responsive to change. What new beginnings are you hoping for? How can the challenges you face serve as the foundation for your growth? With each step forward. Envision yourself not just surviving, but thriving. Turning the lessons of the past into the successes of your future. At the heart of our ability to overcome challenges lies not just in our actions, but in our mindset and attitude. It's the foundation upon which resilience is built. Think about it. Two people can face the same obstacle and have vastly different outcomes based on their mindset. One sees a setback. The other sees an opportunity to learn and grow. What sets them apart? It all starts with belief. A belief in oneself and one's ability to persevere and in the inevitability of overcoming. This belief doesn't mean ignoring the difficulty of the situation or pretending everything is okay. Rather, it's acknowledging the challenge while still maintaining the conviction that you will find a way through. Attitude plays a crucial role as well. An attitude of optimism and positivity doesn't just make the journey more bearable. It also opens up your mind to see solutions and pathways you might have missed otherwise. It's like navigating a dark room. A positive attitude is the light that helps you find the door. But how do we cultivate this mindset and attitude? And first, by practicing gratitude, even in the toughest times, there's always something to be thankful for. This practice shifts your focus from what's going wrong to what's going right, providing a much needed perspective shift. Second, by embracing the power of yet. Instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I can't do this yet. This simple word implies growth, learning and the potential for change. Lastly, surround yourself with positivity. Whether it's people who uplift you or engaging in activities that bring joy, a positive environment fuels a positive mindset. As we navigate the complexities of life, remembering that our mindset and attitude are the lenses through which we view the world. They can color our experiences with despair or with hope. Choose hope, choose positivity, and watch as your resilience grows, enabling you to overcome any challenge that comes your way. Let's talk about failure, a word so many of us fear, yet one that is crucial to our growth and success. The truth is, every failure carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. But don't just take my word for it. History is replete with examples of individuals who turn their failures into stepping stones to success. Let's consider Thomas Edison, whose attempts to invent the light bulb led him down a path of over a thousand failures. Yet, he famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His persistence and refusal to see these failures as anything, but lessons ultimately illuminated the world. Here, take the story of J.K. Rowling, who faced rejection after rejection from publishers for her manuscript of Harry Potter. It would have been easy to view these rejections as a sign to give up, yet she didn't. Her perseverance turned what seemed like a failure into one of the most beloved book series of all time, transforming her life and the lives of millions of readers. Theories underscore a critical point. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of the journey to success. Each setback, each failure is an opportunity to learn, to grow and to understand more deeply what it is we truly want and how we can achieve it. So I challenge you, next time you face a setback, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Embrace failure as a mentor, not an enemy.
Let it teach you resilience, determination, and the invaluable lesson that no success is possible without the courage to fail. Remember, the greatest achievements often come from the lessons learned in the shadow of failure. Building mental and emotional strength is like constructing a fortress. It requires time, effort, and the right materials. Just as a fortress provides protection and resilience against external forces, our mental and emotional strength shields us and provides resilience against life's challenges. How do we build this fortress? Through habits and routines that fortify our inner strength. Firstly, establish a routine of self-reflection. This can be through journaling, meditation, or simply spending a few quiet moments each day contemplating your thoughts and emotions. This practice is like surveying the land before building. It helps you understand your current state and where you need to strengthen your defenses. Secondly, incorporate physical activity into your daily routine. Exercise isn't just about physical health. It's a keystone habit that improves mental and emotional well-being. It's like laying the foundation of your fortress on solid ground. Physical strength contributes to mental resilience, helping you to manage stress and anxiety more effectively. Thirdly, practice gratitude. Make it a habit to acknowledge and appreciate the positive aspects of your life, no matter how small. This practice is akin to reinforcing your fortress with materials that can withstand any weather. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant, fostering a positive mindset that's crucial for emotional resilience. Lastly, cultivate a growth mindset. Embrace challenges, learn from failures, and celebrate progress, no matter how incremental. This mindset is the blueprint for your fortress, guiding its construction and ensuring that it can evolve and adapt over time. Remember, building mental and emotional strength is a continuous process. Just as a fortress is maintained and upgraded over the years, so too must we consistently work on our inner strength. By incorporating these habits and routines into your life, you'll build a fortress of resilience that will stand firm in the face of life's challenges. Resilience in action is a powerful force, a testament to the human spirit's capacity to overcome adversity. Let's look at real-life examples that embody this principle, showcasing individuals who turned their struggles into breakthroughs. Consider the story of Malala Yousafzai, a young girl from Pakistan who stood up for her right to education in the face of extreme danger. After surviving an assassination attempt by the Taliban, she didn't hide in fear. Instead, she became an even more vocal advocate for women's education worldwide. Her resilience not only helped her to recover, but also propelled her to become the youngest ever Nobel Prize laureate. Malala's story is a vivid illustration of how resilience can transform a personal tragedy into a global beacon of hope and change. Another example is that of Stephen Hawking, one of the most brilliant minds of our time, who was diagnosed with a motor neuron disease at the age of 21. Despite the grim prognosis and the gradual loss of his physical abilities, Hawking's intellectual pursuits never wavered. His resilience in the face of debilitating illness led to groundbreaking contributions to cosmology and black hole physics. Hawking's life reminds us that physical limitations do not define our potential for contribution and discovery. These stories highlight that resilience is not merely about surviving. It's about thriving. It's about using the challenges we face as stepping stones to achieve greater heights. Whether it's advocating for rights in the face of danger or pursuing intellectual achievements, despite physical constraints, resilience is the engine of breakthroughs. It teaches us that no matter the adversity with resilience, we have the power to write our own story of triumph. In our journey through life, one of the most powerful tools at our disposal is the commitment to constant learning and self-improvement. This commitment to self-education is not just about acquiring knowledge for the sake of knowledge, but about understanding that growth is a continuous process, vital for our personal and professional lives. Let's consider for a moment the nature of the world we live in, a world that is constantly evolving, where new technologies emerge, industries transform, and what was relevant yesterday may not be so tomorrow. In such a world, the ability to learn, adapt, and grow becomes not just an asset, but a necessity. Yes. But self-education goes beyond just keeping up with the world. It's about setting the foundations for self-fulfillment and happiness. It's about cultivating a mindset that sees every experience, whether good or bad, as an opportunity to learn something new. This mindset transforms the way we approach challenges, turning them from obstacles into opportunities for growth. Let's take, for instance, the story of a young entrepreneur who, after facing a series of failures, decided to dedicate himself to learning from those experiences. He read books, attended seminars, and sought mentorship. This commitment to self-education and growth didn't just lead to the eventual success of his business. It transformed him into a leader, a mentor, and an inspiration to others. 
This is the essence of self-education and growth. It's about being proactive in our own development, about constantly seeking ways to expand our minds and enrich our lives. It's about understanding that the most significant investment we can make is in ourselves. So I urge you to embrace the habit of continuous learning. Read widely, listen deeply, and engage with ideas that challenge and expand your perspective. Remember, in the pursuit of personal development, there are no final destinations, only the journey of growth. And on this journey, the more we learn, the more we realize how much there is yet to discover. This realization is not a discouragement, but an invitation to explore further, to continue growing, and to become the best versions of ourselves. In the midst of adversity, setting clear goals can be your beacon of hope, guiding you through the darkness towards a brighter future. It's during these tough times that goals take on an even greater significance, acting as reminders of what we're fighting for, what we aspire to, and what we can achieve despite the obstacles in our path. It's the process of setting goals. Norever is more than just jotting down desires on a piece of paper. It's about creating a vision for your life, defining what success looks like for you, and then breaking down that vision into tangible, actionable steps. This clarity is crucial, for it's easy to become overwhelmed. By the challenges we face, when we have a clear direction, every step taken, no matter how small, is a step towards overcoming those challenges. Achieving these goals requires persistence. Resilience and a strategy start by breaking your larger goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. This approach not only makes the goals seem more achievable, but also provides a roadmap to follow. Celebrate the completion of these smaller tasks. Let each success fuel your motivation to keep moving forward. Moreover, be adaptable. And sometimes the path to our goals may need to be adjusted based on the circumstances we encounter. This flexibility doesn't mean abandoning our goals, but rather finding different ways to achieve them. Consider the story of a small business owner faced with the challenge of a sudden economic downturn. Instead of giving up, they reassessed their goals, adapted their strategies, and found new, innovative ways to thrive. This adaptability, combined with a clear set of goals, not only helped them survive, but also emerge stronger. In essence, the setting and achieving goals during tough times is about more than just perseverance. It's about envisioning a future where we rise above our current circumstances. It's a powerful act of defiance against the challenges we face. A statement that we are not defined by our struggles, but by our ability to overcome them. So set those goals, embrace the journey, and let's move forward one step at a time towards a future of our own making. Discipline, often misunderstood as a restriction, is in fact a powerful source of freedom. It's the disciplined pursuit of our goals that enables us to overcome difficulties and achieve the success we desire. Imagine discipline not as a chain that binds you, but as the rudder of a ship guiding you through turbulent waters towards your destination. It's the role of discipline in our lives cannot be overstated. It's discipline that gets us out of bed in the morning with purpose. It's discipline that keeps us focused on our tasks when distractions beckon. And most importantly, it's discipline that helps us to persist in the face of adversity, pushing forward when every fiber of our being wants to give up. But how does discipline create them? Consider this by adhering to a discipline routine. You master your habits. In mastering your habits, you gain control over your time and your life. This control is the essence of freedom. It allows you to navigate difficulties with grace and to seize opportunities that come your way. Moreover, discipline fosters resilience. It builds the mental and emotional fortitude needed to face life's challenges head on. With discipline, we learn not just to endure, but to thrive amidst adversity, transforming obstacles into stepping stones towards our Let's take the example of an athlete training for the Olympics. It's their disciplined approach to training, diet, and recovery that prepares them to perform at their best, even under immense pressure. This discipline doesn't confine them. Rather, it frees them to excel in their sport, to push the boundaries of what's possible and to achieve their dreams. In essence, discipline is the key that unlocks the door to our potential. It shapes our actions, molds our character, and defines our destiny. It's by embracing discipline. We equip ourselves with the tools needed to navigate the complexities of life, to overcome difficulties, and to live with purpose and freedom. So let us commit to discipline, not as a burden, but as a liberating force that propels us towards our highest aspirations. Maintaining momentum and staying motivated, especially when progress feels slow, can be challenging. Yet it's during these times that persistence becomes crucial. Let's explore strategies to keep the fire of motivation burning and ensure continual progress on our journey. First, set small achievable goals alongside your larger ones. 
Progress, no matter how small, fuels motivation. Celebrating these minor victories keeps the momentum alive, reminding you that every step forward, no matter the size, is a step closer to your ultimate goal. It's like climbing a mountain. Reaching a checkpoint gives you the strength to aim for the next. Second, maintain a visual representation of your progress. This could be a chart, a journal, or any form of tracking that resonates with you. Seeing the physical representation of your journey not only provides clarity on how far you've come, but also on where you're headed. It's a powerful reminder that progress, even if slow, is still progress. Third, mount yourself with sources of inspiration. Whether it's listening to motivational speeches, reading success stories, or being around people who encourage your growth, these sources of inspiration can reignite your passion and keep you moving forward, even when the going gets tough. Finally, embrace flexibility. Understand that the path to achieving your goals may not always be linear. There will be setbacks and detours, but each offers lessons and opportunities for growth. By staying flexible in your approach, you adapt and overcome, turning potential stumbling blocks into stepping stones. Remember, the key to maintaining momentum is not just in pushing through the hard times, but in finding joy in the journey itself. Celebrate your progress, learn from the setbacks, and keep your eyes on the prize with these strategies in hand. You'll find that maintaining motivation and momentum, even when progress feels slow, is not just possible, but inevitable. The power of perspective cannot be underestimated, especially when it comes to transforming obstacles into opportunities. It's often not the situation itself that determines our success or failure, but how we view it. An obstacle can either be a stumbling block or a stepping stone. The difference lies in our perspective. Imagine facing a seemingly insurmountable challenge. If viewed through a lens of despair, this challenge becomes a barrier to success. However, if we shift our perspective and see it as an opportunity to learn, grow, and strengthen our resolve, the same challenge transforms into a valuable tool for personal and professional development. This shift in perspective is not about ignoring the difficulties we face, but about finding value in them. It's about asking ourselves, what can this teach me, rather than why is this happening to me? This approach opens up a world of possibilities, turning each challenge into a lesson and every failure into a chance to improve. Consider the story of a business that saw a downturn in sales as an opportunity to innovate rather than a sign of defeat. By changing their perspective, they explored new markets, developed new products, and ultimately emerged stronger and more resilient. This is the power of perspective in action. It transforms the landscape of our challenges, turning daunting obstacles into pathways to success. Understanding the importance of action is crucial in the journey towards achieving our goals, regardless of our circumstances. It's action that transforms dreams into reality, aspirations into achievements. While it's essential to plan and strategize, it's through taking consistent, deliberate steps that we make tangible progress. Action is the bridge between where we are and where we want to be. It's easy to become overwhelmed by the size of our goals or disheartened by the obstacles we face, but it's through taking action, step by step, that we navigate through these challenges. Every action no matter how small, moves us closer to our desired outcome. Moreover, action breeds momentum. The starting can often be the hardest part, but once we take that first step, each subsequent step becomes easier. Think of action as a snowball rolling down a hill. It starts small but gathers size and speed as it goes. Similarly, our actions, compounded over time, lead to significant progress and results. But what about when we face setbacks? It's here that the importance of action becomes even more evident in the face of adversity, taking action is a declaration of our resilience and determination. It's a commitment to ourselves and our goals, a statement that we won't be deterred by challenges. Consider the individual who, after losing their job, used the situation as a catalyst to pursue a long-held dream of starting their own business. Despite the uncertainty and fear, they took deliberate steps towards this goal, researching, planning, and executing. Their willingness to act, even in difficult circumstances, turned a personal setback into an opportunity for growth and success. In conclusion, obtaining our perspective allows us to see the opportunities hidden within our challenges, while taking action ensures we seize these opportunities together. They form a powerful duo that propels us forward, transforming obstacles into stepping stones on the path to achieving our dreams. Navigating through tough times becomes significantly more manageable with the presence of mentors. A supportive community, and a strong support network. These elements act as our external compasses, guiding us through uncharted waters and offering wisdom, encouragement, and practical support when we need it most. 
Mark's mentors with their experience and insights can eliminate paths we might not have seen and help us avoid pitfalls they've encountered on their journeys. Their guidance is invaluable, providing us not just with advice, but also with the confidence that comes from their belief in our capabilities. Similarly, a community offers a sense of belonging, a space where we can share our struggles and triumphs. This shared experience fosters a unique form of strength, reminding us that we're not alone in our challenges. Communities, whether formed by peers, family, or interest groups, provide a collective resilience that can buoy us in times of need. Lastly, support network, comprising friends, family, colleagues, and even professional help, acts as a safety net. They are there to catch us when we fall, to offer a listening ear, a helping hand, or a shoulder to cry on. This network reminds us of the love and support that surrounds us, giving us the strength to persevere. It's the journey towards our goals. They belong and fraught with challenges. That's why recognizing and celebrating our progress, no matter how small, is essential. These moments of celebration act as milestones, marking our journey and reminding us of how far we've come. They serve as a source of motivation, fueling our drive to continue pushing forward. You know, Coffee and Race Step Forward deserves recognition. Whether it's mastering a new skill, overcoming a fear, or simply sticking to our goals despite setbacks, each achievement is a testament to our resilience and hard work. Celebrating these achievements doesn't just boost our morale. It also reinforces the behaviors and actions that led to that success, encouraging us to keep applying those principles in the future. Moreover, celebrating progress helps to maintain perspective. It's easy to get lost in the enormity of our goals and feel overwhelmed by the distance we still have to travel. By taking time to acknowledge our progress, we remind ourselves that success is not just the destination, but also the journey. In essence, leveraging support systems and celebrating progress are crucial components of navigating tough times and achieving our goals. They remind us of the strength we have within us and the support that surrounds us empowering us to transform challenges into opportunities and continue moving forward with resilience and determination. Throughout our journey today, we've explored the profound impact of resilience, the power of perspective, and the undeniable importance of action in transforming challenges into opportunities. We've underscored the value of constant learning, goal setting, and the discipline required to march towards success. Equally, we've highlighted the significance of leveraging support systems and celebrating every iota of progress, emphasizing that each step, no matter how small, is a victory in its own right. Let me share a closing story, an analogy that brings our message to life. Imagine life as a vast ocean, and you and your boat are navigating its unpredictable waters. There are times when the sea is calm and the journey is smooth, but inevitably storms arise. The waves tower, the winds howl, and it seems as if all progress is halted. Yet, it is in the midst of these storms that the most skilled sailors are made, each challenge faced, each wave conquered, strengthens your ability to navigate even tougher seas ahead. Your boat, fortified by resilience, empowered by a positive perspective, and guided by the stars of your goals, becomes unsinkable. Now, as we part ways, I encourage you to apply what we've discussed to your life. Remember, the ocean of life is vast and filled with undiscovered treasures. Don't shy away from setting sail because of the storms you might face. Instead, embrace the journey learn from the challenges, and keep moving forward with resilience and determination. Let the stories of those who navigated their storms before you be your guiding light. Reassist your fourth, remember, the greatest discovery lies not in reaching new lands, but in seeing with new eyes, in transforming obstacles into stepping stones, and in understanding that every setback is a setup for a comeback. To take action, no matter how daunting the task may seem. Remember, you are not alone. Your community, your mentors, and your support network are your crew ready to navigate the journey with you. So let's set sail, embrace the challenges, and transform them into opportunities. The world is waiting for you to leave your mark. Let's make it a journey worth remembering.